All right, guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing my best to make a giant smoke grenade. Uh, I've watched this recipe done on several different YouTube channels, like the King of Random, uh, but he's never made something quite as big as what I'm gonna make today. Now, I have never done this before, uh, so we're gonna be learning together. But there's basically only four things you need for this recipe. The first, just basic white sugar. The second, potassium nitrate. Now this is going to be the most expensive recipe uh, or part of the recipe. You can get it two different ways. The most common way is with this right here. Spectricide stump remover. Um, if you look at the ingredients on this, it's literally 99% potassium nitrate. This one pound bottle um, at Lowe's I picked up for like $7.50. This, I found a supplier on Etsy where I can buy just the raw material and I got five pounds for $25. I'll put a link in the description uh, to that page if you're interested. I bought online some basically just firework fuse. Um, this stuff is a slow burn. Uh, I think it was 20 seconds per foot, I wanna say, something close to that. Anyway, I got 50 feet of the stuff for $10, so it's pretty cheap as well. And then, just something to keep it in. Uh, you can basically use anything. I'm just using a cheap bucket that I found at Lowe's. The mixture is going to be 40% sugar, uh, white sugar, and 60% potassium nitrate. So that's what I've got my little kitchen scale here for to uh, make sure that I'm getting the, the mixture correct. And we're just gonna cook it here until we get it nice and caramelized. It's gonna take lots of batches, but I'm, this thing's gonna be close to uh, 10 pounds when it's done. Okay guys, so the first thing before I start cooking this is I'm gonna cut my fuse line here. And basically since we're using this, I'm just gonna measure it down. I mean, obviously this is not something that has to be exact, but I want it to be a long cable. So I'm just gonna cut it off about right there. And I'm gonna use three of them that I'm then gonna tie together at the top. Uh, my goal here is that hopefully if I do it this way, um, I can light all three fuses at the same time and I'll get three ignition points in the smoke bomb itself since it's a rather wide base. That should put off, I mean, it's gonna make it burn quicker, but it should put off a lot of smoke a lot faster. So that's my goal here. So we're gonna do three total. And as you can see, I didn't really even touch my roll. I'm gonna have a lot of this left over for, uh, for later projects. So one thing I didn't mention before, um, I did go ahead and weigh out uh, my first batch of this mix. I'm gonna have to do it in several rounds here. Um, this, the, the volume or the, the recipe is based on weight, not volume. So as you can see, it looks like they're pretty close to the same. This is the uh, potassium nitrate, this is sugar. This is only 40% of the total, this is 60%. So on my kitchen scale here, um, let's see, we did this out to 420 grams on the potassium nitrate, and it was 280 grams on the sugar. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, this is where it gets a little bit sketchy. I haven't done this before, so I'm gonna pour them onto my, uh, my hot plate here. I have it set at medium high. What I do know, we're gonna have to mix this consistently. We wanna make sure we get a very good mix between the two ingredients. And we're gonna go, I have no, no idea how long this is going to actually take. I do think that was a good amount of mix for my, the size of pan that I have though. If you're making smaller bombs, obviously, if you just wanna make it easy on yourself, you can do 60 grams of the potassium nitrate and 40 grams of the sugar. I obviously don't want to go through that many rounds with as big as I'm making this, this uh, smoke bomb, so I, I, I did a bigger batch. Okay guys, so as you can see here, uh, if you take a look at the mixture here, uh, we've been going for about nine and a half minutes. I, I went ahead and turned it up to high to get it going because this is a large mixture. And you can see that the, the uh, sugars are just starting to caramelize or no, 
I, I don't know how long it's going to take from here. I'll be able to tell you whenever we get there, but um, it just starts to be getting mushy. It almost has the texture at this point of like brown sugar. Okay. Okay, guys, so I think we've got our first batch here about ready to go. Um, it's hot, it's runny, and it's about the consistency of, consistency of peanut butter now. So what I'm going to do, and again, this is my first time ever trying this, so we're learning together. But I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. And this, this total cook on this batch took right at about 19 minutes on high. Um, start to finish. So, uh, it's going to take me some time because I'm probably going to have five or six batches uh, with the amount of material that I got. And what I do notice, it, it, it hardens up, it starts to harden fairly quick when you take it off of the heat. So I'm going to spread that around in there. For the sake of expediency, I'm going to go ahead and add my next my next batch to start its cook what I'm doing is I'm just spreading that that down in here as flat as I can and I'm gonna go ahead and take my fuses curl so it makes it a little bit different difficult but I'm gonna Try and get them to stick in there, at least as best I can. May need to be down in there a little bit like that. Yeah, and the curl on these things is making them want to stand up. I think as I get more and more. Uh, material in the bucket, it'll start to stick better. There we go, more cooking. Okay guys, this is the last batch. I have cooked up seven batches of this stuff. And I'm just scooping the last little bit in here. This took a long time, I'm not gonna lie. Cooking this stuff up was a couple of hours worth of work about 15 to 20 minutes per batch. Seven batches, you can do the math. Now, what you might be thinking to yourself is, doesn't look like this bucket's very full. That's on purpose. I'm gonna trim off the sides of the buckets here as soon as everything hardens up. Um, so there, there's a lot of material in this. It's gonna amount to about 10 pounds of this, what is essentially solid rocket fuel. Um, and everybody seems to want to make their, their smoke bombs tall. Uh, I decided to make mine wide instead because what we're going to do here is we're going to end up having a lot more surface area uh, for the burn. It's going to make it burn for a shorter amount of time, but it should be spectacular. So we will see soon. All right, so here's the finished product. Um, I've actually just gone ahead and cut off the top of the, the bucket that we used and I measured it. It is uh, nine inches wide, about three and a half, four inches deep, and it weighs just over 10 pounds. So let's see what this thing will do. How far away do we have to be? This right here? Mike, oh, sh get the bucket of water, Mike. Go, go. 
Okay, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> so right there is Greg's car. So uh, that's real life right there. There's the smoke. Daddy, get the bucket of water. It's good. It's fine. <laughs> so that burned uh, actually a lot quicker than even I thought. It, that may have lasted about 30 Daddy, seconds. Daddy, how is that pool gone? <laughs> yep, it's all gone. It melted. So um, there it is. Uh, it worked pretty darn well. That smoke's going to last for a little while. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will absolutely answer any questions you may have. Please do subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with more videos, uh, stuff like this to do that's just fun, do-it-yourself stuff at home, and leave a like. Thanks a lot.